Man, what a day to be here, right? Um, first of all, I want to thank you guys for being here. Um, we're all here. This is a very happy occasion to officially, officially announce um, the extension of Jeff Simmons. Um, you know, there's a, there's a, a model for what you want, you know, a player to be and what you want your organization to look like. And I think Jeff is one of those models, you know, for us. So this was something that was a priority uh, to get done. Um, you know, with that said, I want to thank uh, Chad Brinker, um, assistant GM, and Ben Marino for all the work, you know, that they put in to making this happen, uh, as well as uh, Jeff's representative, uh, Paul Darrell. You know, it was uh, never a, not a moment where we weren't talking. Um, our first um, initial meeting to get something started, to get the conversation started, came uh, a little bit after the Senior Bowl. And from that moment, we were diligently working to get this done. And it ultimately uh, came to a conclusion uh, last weekend sometime. So I um, want to keep this brief. This day is about Jeff. This day is about all the work he's put in and the player he's become and the player he's going to continue to be for us. So with that said, I want to bring up our head coach, uh, Mike Vrabel, to say a few words. Thank you, Rand. Uh, Jeffrey, congratulations to you, to your family. You know, Jeff embodies everything uh, that we want in a Titan um, from the time that we drafted him, uh, from the time that we went down and, and spent time with you uh, at Mississippi State. Um, you know, you answered a lot of questions truthfully, honestly. Uh, you're a great example to, um, to our community. So thank you. You've earned this. Um, we, we're going to continue to hold you to a high standard. Uh, that'll be the fun part but uh, certainly embody everything we, we believe in here as a team captain, a leader, and your performance you know, on the field. So obviously, thanks to Ran, uh, Chad, you know, on behalf of our entire organization and Miss Amy and her family, uh, congratulations, man, you're in this. Oh, man. Coach Brave, but speech almost gave me a little tears. But, nah, man, first I want to say um, thanks to God. Um, without God, I wouldn't be in this situation. I wouldn't be in this place to stand for, um, before you guys. Have came and uh, overcome, overcame a lot of adversity throughout this, this journey. Um, appreciate you, Ren. Appreciate the Titan, Titans organization. Miss Amy, from day one, I told Miss Amy that I would never let her down. And, you know, from this day forward, um, Standing up here, up here now, you know, um, I texted Ms. Amy after um, we came to the conclusion that, you know, we came to an agreement, and I told her how much I appreciate her for trusting in me from day one. And um, and when she sent back to me, she told me um, that, you know, you promised me that you would never let me down, and, you know, you haven't. And that right there, it hit something inside because, you know, to have a female owner um, a lady owner in the NFL to trusting you so much um, from kind of the adversity that I went through throughout my um, my journey to get here. You know, that means so much to me. So, Ms. Amy, I appreciate you so much to the Titans organization. You know, we have a lot of work to do. We just getting started. Um, to my family um, who with me, no matter, you know, highs, lows, bad, the ugly, whatever, the good, you know, they they stick with me. Um, you know, I can have now it's such a good game, and they still say you play good. Um, so, um, you know, just to have them on by my side um, each and every week, each and every game, like I said, I, I appreciate them so much. And um, Paul, um, I'm sure Rand know that Paul going to make sure that things get done. He going to make sure you're on the phone. Um, and I was like, Paul, all right, man, listen, stop calling me until something get done. Like, I'm, I'm tired of talking, like, every other day. It's like... Paul, Paul Dorisilli calling. So I'm like, all right, Paul, do we got something? But uh, man, just the, the the commitment that Paul made to me and uh, my uncle. Um, of course, my uncle, me and my uncle started um, this thing called Walking Business. Um, you know, of course, coming out of college, you know, I didn't sign with an agent. Um, th that's the road I wanted to go. You know, just having a mentor like my uncle who played in this league ten years, and you know, to trust him that okay, I'm not going to uh, steer you wrong and uh, we brought Paul alone, and um, Paul haven't let us down. He one of them guys who kept his word, and you know I appreciate you, Paul. And 
uh, like I said to uh, my uncle Jason um, Hatcher, um, is a big mentor to me throughout this process. You know, been you know just stay patient, patient, patient. Been a big word, and you know I think that's the most stressful part about it. Um, you know, as you guys know, I think um, when you working on the deal, I think Coach Rabe and Rand can tell you like, you know, being patient is the biggest thing. And that also taught me another lesson um, as I was going through this process. It's like, you know, I want to know what's going on. I want to know what may happen. You know, not one time did I not think I won't be in Tennessee. I, I, I won't be playing in Tennessee, but it was all about when would this everything get done? Because I was ready for all the noise to like clear out. You know, I, I think a lot of questions about like me my Instagram and this and that, I think the main thing was me blocking out the noise um, because I wanted to focus on uh, getting healthy, training and stuff in that nature and not, you know, worrying about social media and what everyone's saying on social media. So, like I said, to my family, like I said, again, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Um, you know, and it's just not for me. Um, you, the guys, you guys are the reason why I wake up each and every day wanting to be the best I could be each and every day. Um, you know, my mom, uh, single parent. So, you know, just to see how much we have came from, um, see the journey we've been on as a family, um, it's crazy, you know. Um, I think, man, just from house to house, apartment to apartment, Sharing the bed with my brother. Man, we good. We, you know, it's just not, you know, my kids' kids, you know, this generation wealth, as we call it, like, that's why I do it for, man. Every day I wake up. I just think about them hard times where I know my mom didn't feel like it. And for some time, I could be like, I don't, I'm hurting. But I think about my mom having to raise five kids on her own. And for me to say, I don't want to do this, you know, that's my motivation, my family. So, sorry about that. But man, this, this is, I'm grateful, I'm excited. I never saw myself wearing um, anything but the two-tone blue other than, a, you know, holding up a Super Bowl ring and a gold jacket. So that's the only thing I ever saw myself outside of wearing um, the two-tone blue. So like I said, I'm excited and the work just uh, really getting started. Appreciate it. Well, for me individually, I think the biggest thing for me is keep uh, getting healthy um, each and every day. Um, I'm working towards the being getting back to myself. Um, you know, I want to be 1,000%. I want to help this football team the best way I can. And I think the best way is being healthy on the field, um, being 100%. Well, I'm not going to say 100% because playing this game, you'll never be 100%. So, um, you know, how healthy can I be each and every game? Um, each and every day, if you never practice, um, cause Ray joked about the practice calls. Um, but um, you know, I just want to be available. I want to um, be available for my team, healthy, the best way I can be. And I, I think that just taking the next step and how can I take care of my body? How can I take care of my mental and stuff in that nature? But man, I, I know the type of guys that, and I know the type of team we trying to build here in Tennessee. Um, I, I, I've been here long enough to understand that, and I. I think when you when you have a head coach like Vrabe and have a like the uh, the culture we have here and we trying to build here in Tennessee, I think once you get especially these new guys in, when you get them to buy in to what we really want, and I think that's where make a team. I think um, like this OTAs, this um, doing camp and all this stuff like that. That's gonna show and like tell what type of team we have. And I don't like I said I don't know, um, you know. Of course, we already have a different team right now. So um, when it's time for camp and uh, and um, get just to get around these guys, you know, they gonna understand quick kind of what's our culture and the way we want to play around here in Tennessee, and they're gonna get to our ultimate goal, and that's to win the championship around here. And I think, you know, that's always the goal uh, at the end of the season. Um, so 
I think that's the next step as a team. And um, of course, like I'm a guy who's gonna put the team first. And my mindset is we have to win. And I, um, we didn't came up short too many times. And I think this season um, we have to work extremely hard, harder, and um, just to get to our main goal. What is 2019? The last time we had maybe one of these press conferences for you, you're 22 years old. You think you have grown more as a as a person, as a player since then, or, or maybe the combination of both? Nah, man. I, I know for a fact I have grown. I know, um, you know, because if you don't grow, um, especially as a player in this league, um, from year one to I'm going into year five now, I don't think I'd be standing on a podium right now. Um, you know, so I mean, I just commend the people who I have around me who push me so hard. You know, you know, especially when, especially when I'm in this building. You know. Um, now, I think to have a coach and have um, a position coach like Coach T, you know, Coach Vrabel and these guys like that, you know, um, I think them type of guys who I appreciate and are the reason why you want to come to work. Um, you know, each and every day I wake up, I'd be like, all right, another day we have to get better. And I know, for one, I know Coach T, you know, he wants the um, best out of me. So each and every day he pushing me, you know, we having them extra meetings, uh, him, him telling me like, Bro, you 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 could be the best in this game, like so. Think to hear things like that and to see it and watch film each and every year how 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 I improve. I think that right there just shows that like you know each and every year I have improved and you know just a man. You know I I try to be better than I was and that's been my motto forever. Be better than I was yesterday. You know on the field and off the field. So um, of course I feel like I have grew as a man and as a player. You're the first guy I think the first vet with the contract now that runs into what, what should be the start of the new stadium, the, really the, the foundational guy on this team. How much does it mean to you to, to kind of be that big of a foundational piece? Well, I really haven't thought about, you know, the stadium and all that. I think my thing is, like, I want to be here in Tennessee. I want to play in Tennessee my career. I want to be here in Tennessee. I love the people in Tennessee. But most importantly, I love the guys on this team, um, you know. Like I said, this whole process, not one time that, you know, that I want to just say it, that I wanted to leave Tennessee. Um, you know, I wanted to be here in Tennessee. I wanted to get something done. So, you know, to make it, you know, an extension, you know, multiple years, um, you know, the four year, whatever extension, you know, of course, it's leading to the new stadium. But, you know, when I first came in this league, especially after my rookie year, you know, I kind of knew that I would have to step up a little more, um, especially, you know, a guy, a good friend um, that I'm, you know, keep in contact with to this day, Jarrell Casey. Um, when I knew that he was leaving, um, you know, I kind of knew, all right, you know, this is your time to be a leader and to be more vocal, especially after my rookie year, and be, you know, try to be that captain that, you know, that needed to be um, here in Tennessee. And I think from that day forward, you know, that's when I saw that, you know, in myself that I could be that guy um, to help lead this team. And um, to this day, um, you know, I feel like, I have a lot of work to do myself, so um, to this day, I still feel like I have, um, you know, some work to do with this team. Um, you know, because I do look at myself as, you know, um, the voice for this team, especially um, on defense. Um, I look at, look at them guys each and every day. That, you know, we have to, we could be better. We could be better than we was, and we could actually get to our main goal. So, um, you know, I'm excited for what may come in the future, um, especially the stadium. But you know, right now, I'm just focused on today. Oftentimes that you are, as Ran and Coach Ray was said, the walking embodiment of this team. How personally do you take that, and, and what would you say is an example of how you exemplify the mindset that they want to have? Um, I mean, I think it start off with just the way we want to play around here. Um, you know, not just you know, because um, we we get taught the way that you know we every, each and every day we get coached hard. Um, you know, and I think. It's not just, it don't come down to the coaches saying that all the time. It's about the players. And I think when you when you have the players doing it and talking it, I think that's when it's, it's like, all right, this is what they want. Um, and I, like I said, I, I'd have been around Coach Rave. I know the toughness he want on, on our on team. I know the gritty he want. And I know the type of effort he want us to play with. And so if I'm not out there doing it, then these other guys are not going to buy into it. So, and, and that's, I think, where I appreciate Coach Rave the most. Um, you know, when I'm not doing it, I get called out. You know, um, and I, the best players get called out on this team, no matter who it may be. It could be from Derrick down to anybody. So I think that's what simplify, like, 
what embodied in this team, the way guys like myself um, that I feel like, you know, I, a captain on this team, if, if I'm doing the right thing, if I'm playing the way um, that we can be being coached with technique, fundamental effort, and all them things like that, uh, full tilt. And um, I take pride in that. So, um, and then I think it's just off the field, you know. Um, I, I like to be in the community and things in that, in that nature. I want, want to um, inspire the youth. Um, that's one of the biggest things I, I uh, speak on a lot. So, um, you know, it's just not about on the field. And I think that's what, you know, we also talk about, you know, how about, you know, what we do in the community and stuff in that nature. about playing through the ankle injury and being kind of all in for this organization. Through this process, when did you kind of get the indication that they were going to be all in for you? Well, I mean, I'm, I didn't really know at, at the beginning because, of course, we didn't have a GM in place. But when I first met Rand, you know, our first conversation, you know, was it. You know, when I sat down and talked to him and I, uh, some of the stuff he told me, it was like, you know, I, I would be here in Tennessee. and. Um, you know, I would say Rand kept his word. He a man his word. Um, he just joked with me about that. So, and I think that's the biggest thing for me. And now I'm just hearing it from our owner, Miss Amy. Um, you know, I remember I can't remember exactly what week it was, um, but of course it was after the fire. And, um, but you know, just to hear her say, you know, you you okay? Like we're gonna take care of you here. And um, I think that's what put me at ease. And um, from that day forward, like I can say I wasn't focused on. You know, um, just to cut this big contract. That's why I put a team in place for that. And um, you know, my thing what this business off season just how can I get healthy and you know um, ready for this upcoming season. You mentioned how much you love the city and community. Of course, the team obviously, but you've also done so much off the field. Your new foundation, Big Room Arena. How excited are you to continue the work you started off the field and continue this relationship with the city that that means clearly means so much to you. I'm excited. Um, I think my first event uh, with my foundation was last year um, around Christmas time. You know, um, I think when we talk about um, off the field, because, you know, I came from a small town and um, I know a lot of these kids don't have hope. And someone in, in the seat right now looking for that hope, looking for like that why. And it, um, so I think um, when you have a foundation like that, especially mine called Give Them a Reason, um, it's to inspire the youth and uh, create opportunities, try to create opportunities for our youth. And um, each and every day, um, that's be my goal. When I see a young kid, you know, I never turn a kid down for a picture, you know, because they look up to us. And uh, we setting examples. We're going giving back to our community um, and letting these kids know that they can be here. Um, no matter if they want to be a lawyer or whatever it may be, you know, never give up, never get up, give up on your dream. You know, give you, and I came up with this, uh, give them a reason because like, you know, when we growing up as a kid, we always want a handout, you know, um, and now it's like, why not? Why we can't do why we can't get this offer? Um, and I, I always when I went back to my high school, I told them kids, give the coaches a reason to give you an offer and stuff like that. You know, the same way on this level, give these coaches a reason <clears throat> excuse me, to get put you on the field. So I think that's be that's the reason why I came up with that name. and. Like I said, now it's just like, you know, I hope it's a takeoff. Um, you know, um, I want to be more in the community here in Nashville. A lot of my community work been in Mississippi, um, you know, with um, sponsoring um, and naming the Fair House at my old high school and having uh, um, all my camps in Mississippi. So I wanted that to grow and I want to bring the, um, a lot more activities and, you know, things to Nashville. So. Yeah, uh, just a lot of excitement from guys. You know, I saw um, a couple of guys this morning. Um, you know, it just, to me, I, I think the main thing is, you know, just getting back around the guys, and I can't wait to get back around the guys. And, you know, like I said, we're going to have a complete new team. Um, you know, a lot of these guys new to our team. Um, I met um, um, Aziz, Aziz is his name, right? Uh, yeah, I met Aziz this morning, and I, just, I could tell already um, that, you know, he's going to be a, good for us just to, the talk we had this morning, and um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to, you know, because um, I've been on the contract here, so it's not like I'm new to this team. So I, I'm, I'm just excited to see how much more we could grow as a team and, you know, get to our next step. Jeff, from a football standpoint, what do you feel that you need to work on, improve on, to help take this defense um, to the level that you guys envision? And then also with coming back from the ankle injury, 
how has your training regimen maybe changed this off season as you look to elevate? Well, first, I mean, right now that's that's how I've been my focus, my ankle. Um, I mean, I did get it, um, you know, cleaned up, and I, I feel fine right now. I think the main thing is just keep getting that ankle better, uh, uh, better right now. But I think when it come down to me as a me being um, a person, me personally, I think the consistent of my technique and um, you know playing with you know my body lean that we talk about and. You know, Coach Ray and them always stressing it to me, just because I know, and I have seen it. Like when I'm when I'm playing with that technique that we talk about consistently, you know, no one could block me in this league. And I, you know, I I see it and I hear it all the time. So um, I think um, that's my biggest thing. How consistent can I be with them things? Um, my technique, my fundamental, and my effort. And uh, and I think that it's, that's right there, just as fine because you know everything else take care of itself. Um, my leadership and all that. I just want to be more consistent. You talked about how meaningful the generational wealth is for you and the family. Just how'd you get to tell everybody, and what was it like getting to tell everybody you signed the deal? Well, I mean, um, I think when I told, uh, we was in the uh, group chat, and I, I told him, um, but um, kind of my brother broke the news to everyone in the group chat. <laughs> in the group chat, I was I was waiting to do it. He ended up breaking the news like uh, such and such, but. I think I mean even though you know it was it was special um, you know just to be able to share that moment with my family for them to be here today is special. Um, when we was on the phone, it was me, um, my agent Paul, and my uncle, and we was like, it was it was it was a it was a long talk. I would say right before we made a decision, like all right, is this what we gonna do, guys? Like everyone was like, are we in or not? But I mean it was it was unbelievable. You know I heard a couple of tears on the phone. Um, I ain't gonna call no name, but <laughs> no, nah, man, it was it was it was unbelievable, man. I, like I said, I'm so grateful to have a team and have a family like I have, and, um, and you know, props to Rand and his team, um, you know, this organization, you know, I, we got the deal done, and I'm excited, man. I, um, like I said, the work really just getting started for real. So, had a two-tier tweet, I guess, after the news came out, where you tried to. <laughs> yeah, no, I was I was just messing with the people. Um, you know, I was wanting a little kick out of it, but it, you know, I, I knew um, this whole time that you know I was gonna be here in Tennessee. You know, I, especially the fans. They, you know, even when I'm not, uh, you know, on social media, I'm, I'm walking into a restaurant. Um, you know, he's stopping me and my girls. Like, you know, if they leave, if they don't sign you, we not we not we gonna bark out this and that. I'm like, man. I'm like, we have no worries. I calm down. But nah, man, it just, you know, it's always good to um, always keep the fans in the loop. Um, I think, you know, um, I'm big on, you know, on our support system. Um, you know, I, we have some great fans here in Tennessee that support us. And, um, you know, I, will, I always want to check in every now and then on Twitter with them or whatever it may be, mess with them. But, you know, that joke was a little joke um, with the fans. And like I said, I mean, we have some great fans in Tennessee. You talked about being patient through this. Um, Last year, you played for a very inexpensive deal. Um, you had to be patient with that. And then with the ankle, you, you weren't yourself uh, for, for some of the time. Was it difficult to, to be patient through that, knowing that this day would probably come, but, but having to wait for it? Um, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, one time that I think about this deal during the last season, um, I was thinking about the now because I wanted to win. I wanted to um, get to our goal, which didn't happen. So, like I said, not one time did I think about, you know, I'm really playing on this ankle right now, and I don't know what it may be in the future. Um, I was just focused on that now. like, um, And that was my goal, to be on the field each and every week for my team, um, my teammates. And so now I didn't think about, um, you know, of course, like I mean, everyone know already, like going into that season, you know, it was some thoughts. but. You know, I made a decision, and um, they could tell you that I was like, I want to play this year. I don't want to. I don't want nothing. All this extra stuff. I don't want to deal with it right now. And um, I came here, and I, you know, I played for my teammates, and I played for this organization. So you now I didn't think about it not one time, and I was just being patient with my ankle. I say that I was. That's the only patient I had to really kind of like settle down. But like, okay, just gonna have to get through it this season. So. You wanted to be patient. Why was it important to you to get that deal done before Super Bowl? 
<laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say before Super Bowl all weekend. I, I'm sure that's a Paul question for uh, he told you asked that something like that. But um, nah, man. I, I my my goal was to get it done when the right time. When everyone, when both sides came to agreement. Um, like I said, we came to agreement. I was on a phone call with um, out my team, and we came to agreement. And it just so happened to be before we, um, you know, Mississippi State spring game this weekend. So, you know, I'm um, I'm sure them fans would be crazy. They'd be excited, you know, for the news. I already been getting a lot on social media already. But like I said, it's, I'm grateful, man. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm excited to see uh, what the future brings for this organization and myself. Making such a big deal out of you taking the Titans off your social media. <laughs> no, nah, man. Like I said, told everyone earlier, I, I don't think I, I know it was like a um, like I guess a you know news like alert. But my biggest thing was well, I didn't want I wanted to eliminate myself from all the distraction, you know, because I was getting tagged in this, I was getting tagged in that, and I think when it came down to it, you know, I didn't want to. That's kind of the reason why I kind of deactivated um, my page um, because I wanted to just focus on getting healthy. I wanted to focus on um, um, working out and stuff like that. So I, I wouldn't say, um, you know, I didn't get, didn't mean to like, you know, make it a big deal. Of course, it's ended up being a big deal. But um, my uh, my goal was to just focus on myself at that time because like I said, I was dealing with the ankles. I was dealing with, you know, it's just other stuff all the field, you know, just being an um, adult. So um, I would just focus on that at the time. So I wasn't trying to make that a big deal, so.